you doing? Good morning. Uh, welcome back to uh, Daybreak. It's Tuesday, a wonderful day, and I hope that you are <laughs> having fun and settled in. And you know, for all of my brothers, the football season is upon us. You can now have it and use the amazing line, Nitako Call Game Asia. Whether, however, the game, notwithstanding. Um, <laughs> today we have a, an interesting conversation, as always. Uh, we'll start by introducing uh, the panel here. We have Roberta Bobby. Nyaje. Ukopo. Nikofiti Sana. I'm happy. Yeah. Glad to be here. Mm -hmm. At least kuna joto sa. Eh, sahi iko sawa. The weather is, is it's weathering. It's better. <laughs> the weather is looking good. <laughs> Shut up, boy. Wagwan. Go area, go fresh, go poor. Uh, yeah, man. Feel Everything good. nice. Everything, Everything crisp, man. Full <laughs> life. Ah. Uh. You don't know. I'm not sure. 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 I'm not Thank you. Last time you were overseas. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, there's a lot that's been going on online. Uh, so that we are not uh, <laughs> a prominent politician. <laughs> <laughs> no names. Uh, no names. No, but he said it anyway on his own account. So I guess you can use his account and say, uh, you know, Mimi Kama Daktari Alfred Imiwachana Nalilo. Right? No, my words, <laughs> not his. Uh, and then after that, uh, he had a birthday party and invited Rivani. A uh, story for another day as to why he chose a Tanzanian over uh, very many Kenyans, but, you know, to each his own. Uh, that was not it. During the party uh, attended by many, <laughs> including my uh, happy birthday, <laughs> uh, Lillian showed up. And they were talking, they were feeding each other cake and all of this stuff. And so, we want to talk about, everybody was talking about, wow. Is, this is this is this is a model of how you should treat your ex. That's what some people are saying. Some people are saying no photo ops. There's mixed reactions over that. But before we even talk about whether it is possible for you to remain friends with your ex, uh, what is an ex? Let's start by defining an ex because in this Nairobi, you have to <laughs> you have to define it properly. So we'll ask CJ to help us. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you would ask Shata. <laughs> okay, we'll start with Shata. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shata, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shata X ni nani? X. Mm. X ni mtu lidate. Mtu lidate? Mtu mlidate. Sio ulidate. Mtu, mtu anaza kwa lidate. Sikia kwa mbio kitu. Listen. Kienda sahi hapa hivi na Roberta. If you date. Kule lunch. Yes. Are yes. you, you dating? More than like, romantically. Also. Involved. Si platonic. Okay. Yes. Romantically involved. Romantically involved. Okay. Na. So you date, only date. You could be dating someone and they're not dating you. <laughs> it has to be clear that we are in a relationship, both of us. So you had the conversation. Yes, the conversation Sasa. was there, yes. and we are a couple. Mm -hmm. a, we are boyfriend, girlfriend, or husband, wife. Mm -hmm. get. But see you could judge you that we would date. You know, 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 <laughs> All right. So, and what about you, Roman? What do you, what do you, what I do you agree. I agree with Shata, but most times I find myself selling a bigger story and I start to explain. Unakumbuka na ni 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 na ni na ni na ni. I just say ex songu, you know, so that this cut the long story short. All right. But I definitely agree that an ex is someone who you had the conversation. Me nim tuako, we nim tuangu, and then muachane. So I guess yeah. And that's what an ex is. I, I, you know, I, and maybe. As, as CJ defines it in his own, <laughs> there's also you, yeah? you, ha you see you guys are saying you had the conversation, yeah. but there are people who appear after Mwachane, we bado see ex, bado muna So you had the conversation with each other's person, and then also for you to be ex, you also had a conversation with Sasa, to Mwachane, it's ghost. 
to all of a sudden, nah, we didn't talk for three months. It's no longer my using. Ghost, ghost, ghost. 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 Ghost, yeah, but generally, it's it's something that has got to have been mutual. Mm -hmm. uh, it must be definite. A relationship must be defined, mm -hmm. especially when it is uh, an exclusive relationship. Mm -hmm. It has to be defined. Uh, I cannot expect to have somebody to myself when I have not met the intention known mm -hmm. that I also want to commit to it. So we can't just be hanging out, then I start getting jealous of people meeting people, you know, <laughs> and demanding to know where are you, and we don't have a defined relationship. Uh, people do that. They're around you, they've not said anything, and uh, they don't like anybody else coming around you, you know, so yeah. they are upset. I came to check out on you at home, you're not in. Where do you go? Uh, you're too close to the other person. Mm -hmm. So they've already formed these assumptions mm -hmm. that they're an item. Mm -hmm. It needs to be definite at the start. It needs to be definite at the end. Mm -hmm. If you started something, um, you need to finish it. Yeah. Because as much as Shata says ghosting is one of the ways those things end, <laughs> yeah, yeah, ghosting. you see, it, <laughs> it ends for one me. person. It <laughs> ends for one person, the one who has left. Mm -hmm. But the one who hasn't, they'll keep hopeful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they stay there. Um, they don't think that you're an ex mm -hmm. because they've not had it from you. So they've mm -hmm. not found the essence of closure mm -hmm. in it. I think it needs to be definite from the start to the end. Yeah, it needs to, you need to define what it is. So, uh, after a clear definition to Mumusema, all right, we've met, we've talked about it, we are no longer an item. Peace, peace, or no peace, peace, but Mumachan. Then, so is it possible then to be friends with your ex? Let's, let's start with Roberto on this one. Is it possible to remain friends with your ex? I think it's very possible, especially if you guys had a friendship going on uh, before and within the relationship, the sexual or romantic relationship that you have going on. However, I wouldn't really recommend it for different reasons because there has to be guidelines, there has to be clear rules, there has to be very, very defined boundaries and respect and just a whole other thing other people might not have, especially coming out of a sexual relationship where there was crazy chemistry and you guys were very, very much in love, it can be difficult. So while it works, while there's some people just for, for every other people who can be friends, there's also other people who cannot be friends. So while I think it's very possible, I have <coughs> friends who I've dated before and I say seen him ambishte. But see at him ambishte close at we hang out nini it's just kind of acquaintances, I'd say hi if I see them. There's no bad blood, but I, I, I don't know about you guys remaining friends, but I think it happens. Mm -hmm. It's very possible. Mm -hmm. But there'll be <coughs> probably blood. Definitely. <laughs> Oh my god. Up on the confusion in Anza. <laughs> up on the confusion in Anza. Yeah. Like, me chana, but I'm chana, mm -hmm. and that's crazy. It can get toxic real quick. Mm -hmm. And also the timelines, because there are people who sit and say, you know, um, to know chana, <coughs> but let's just be friends. And then this is tomorrow, Jana Leo. Then tomorrow, you you know you're like you, you call, especially I don't know both sides, narcissistic or not. It can be male or female. That's what I call a call. I just sorry, I was just checking up on you. How you doing? I can't check up on my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so now you're not allowed to talk so, to friends. So now you're not allowed to talk to friends. <laughs> uh, so it, it's, it's weird. Shut up. <laughs> I was a can. I was a can. Yo. I was a fogger cook, come a pet. Sour, a kuna siku chicken at a poor pet. Yo, what if you're vegetarian? Anyway, mm -hmm. still, what are you fogger? Yeah, man. The best actually can be a kid People would do such things out of being selfish, out of selfishness. You, you see, this is a low hanging fruit. You know, you and, and mostly, actually, people that insist on that friendship is people that have left you. They, they say, but we can still be friends. Mm. And you, because on the other hand, you're hoping this thing will work one day, you accept the friendship. Mm. Like, okay. So, Una Ishigi now hopes that this thing will work. Now, Ule, on the other hand, Anajua, in case wherever I've gone fails, I can come back. Unona. So, Akuna true friendship, Akuna friendship, because friendship has to be true. Would I get? But this one is someone taking advantage of the other, and this other one being taken advantage of, hoping things will work. Unaget. Yeah. So, 
<laughs> CJ, is, you talk about hope, you talked about hope. Uh, so, hope deferred makes the heart sick. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you if you think about it, is it uh, possible, especially using the example we used, it was quite, it looked quite, we don't know the details, but it looked quite fresh. Right. Um, so, you know, is it possible that, uh, you know, you'd have to be, you can be friends with your ex? Um, but if we use that example, we've got to understand mm -hmm. that this gentleman uh, used to spin the propaganda of the government. Mm -hmm. So he's very good at <laughs> PR. <laughs> you can't take that yeah. away from him. That's right, yeah. This is a man who used to do government PR. Mm -hmm. um, so, then again, <laughs> yeah. so by the time people are making an announcement, as you say, we don't know the details. Mm. Uh, we don't know how long it has taken before they get to the place where they say uh, we need to part ways and we need to make this announcement. They've considered a lot of things, including their networks, their business, their interests, their careers, uh, how that will benefit them. They've done a lot of considerations. But generally, at the point when two people disagree, I don't think they disagree nicely. You don't just wake up and talk to each other and say, look, um, I think we have served our time together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> there has got to have been some acrimony in there, disagreements, disappointments. So it is valid to have those. See, now people will look at this kind of an example and they think that uh, that invalidates your emotions. You're feeling hurt, you're feeling upset or mm -hmm. angry uh, with your partner, so you need to act like, let's be like the Mutuas. Mm -hmm. No, they, they just knew where <laughs> to take their the emotions. Yeah. What most people do is that they bring their fights online from the very onset. Mm -hmm. um, but this kind of people, they've learned how to keep their fights away. Then when they are now rational, they make certain decisions. It is possible, um, but it is more of an arrangement, Willis, mm. than a friendship. Mm. Past your relationship, it's more of an arrangement than a friendship. It will, because when we talk about uh, it being defined, even within the relationship, after that, and Roberta talked about that, like there'll be a lot of rules. Again, you're defining this thing. What are we going to be able to be doing? What will we do? How far can we go? Um, when would we call each other? Why would we call each other? If there is a child, then probably it is co-parenting. If there's no child, probably it is we're still business partners. Uh, we don't need to bring the business down just because our relationship has gone down. So it is more of an arrangement um, than a friendship <laughs> after yeah. that. An arrangement. Um, so I guess the question then becomes, what, what are some of the, uh, the rules? Uh, we, don't even, we haven't even talked about like now when you get into another relationship, how now this friendship with your ex, you're like, hey, yeah, this is my ex. <laughs> <laughs> how this other person is going to take it. <laughs> it has got tough But what are some of the, uh, you said you had friends who, you know, yeah. you know, it's working, your friends. What, what are some of the things that you did in terms of putting down those, what can we do, what can't we do? What are some of the rules of engagement? First of all, like CJ said, uh, now I'm starting to see how it would end up an, more of an arrangement than a genuine friendship, mm. unless you guys had a very, very strong friendship way before the romantic relationship. Because it's possible for you guys to be friends, Namdi said too. It's not working, we're hurting more when we're together. Let's just, let's see. And for some people, it actually really works. So now when it's an arrangement where you guys have to keep face and you know show up for the business, show up for the co-parenting or just be friends for whatever reasons you guys have. I think it's it's it becomes difficult cuz you have to set these boundaries and respect them yourself. Mm -hmm. Like yo Kwani, I can't call you ama <laughs> Kwani CJ. <laughs> ama can we hang out? Ama maybe there's something you guys do together that you would like to continue doing. You see um, some of the rules would be, I, I, I don't have them verbatim, like just mm. off the top of my head, but I think it's, uh, it boils down to the kind of relationship you have with each other and how you treat each other and how you respect each other. Because definitely staying friends with your ex, especially if the emotions are still there and you guys have not worked on all these things, it's going to definitely hinder you from other relationships from pursuing other relationships because mm -hmm. how do you ex how do you explain to your new girlfriend I only ex song to see you hang out na drinks na movies you know it's a whole other 
business. So I really don't think like there's set rules mm. for everyone to follow. I just think it's very dependent on the kind of relationship you have with this person as your friend. Mm -hmm. And if they are really your friend, it's not going to be difficult for them to respect because Mimi, honestly, at her ex song, say I can't be given as a shanga sana. Like, yes, we're friends, <laughs> but like, what? Kama si call ya, kama business, kama anani call kuniambia nini. Like, what else do we have to talk about unless we were real friends, you know? Uh, where I can call and be like, oh, he's just calling to check up. I already know the details of the phone call before he even calls. So while I think it's different for everybody, I think respect to me very, very mandatory. And while I don't support you staying friends with your ex, I think if it works for you, then <laughs> <laughs> it's possible for, for you guys to pursue the relationship. Shata, why do you have a cheeky smile? What's going on? Akuda. Hey. You get me into trouble. I just go and be You would want to stay friends with your, with your ex because of the fear of the unknown. You don't know what's be, what lies beyond this this relationship. Una get now sometimes una zakuwa uko kwa situation you, you maybe something kwa kazi na ku stress and you know the only person that would understand this because you've stayed for long with this person is my ex. Like if you call them and started speaking, they will understand you. They will feel you more than telling someone new. Unaelewa? So those are the reasons that we would want maybe to keep you. If there is a business. Unaelewa? But your example mna tumia hii mbogi. Kumbuka huni msanii. Ura ya. Ni msanii sawa. Kwa hivyo anaweza ku act ni msanii basi. Like do you think you do that? Do you think you'd hold a party sorry to ask but you see go to one to some release ngoma. So be release ngoma no kija. Kwani si wasanii wanatafuta kiki squeeze. But anyway, sasa ile makosa ingine tunafanya ya social media ni hiyo. Tunaona watu wakitafuta kiki huko si tunataka kuiweka kwa real life situations. If you want to stay friends with your ex, kuna a million things you need to consider. Like if someone else was to come on board, okay? Will they be okay with this friendship? Okay? If I want to move to someone else, do I need permission from my ex? And if say uh, Bobby was my girlfriend and we parted ways, Another girl maybe wants to talk to me, but I don't know if she does not. Do you think she will come? I don't know if she will come. I don't know if People fear what they don't know. You don't know the next phase of your life. You say, eh. What do you by the way, excuse me, I say, I'm single because of peace of mind. I want peace of mind. Everyone. You wonder, yo, what is this? I want peace of mind. So I'm being single because I want. So what I got this peace of mind. What is it? Motivational quotes. Eh, do we need to define it again? Because Sasa, I stay friends with my with my ex. I am not dating anyone. Why? Because I want peace of mind. Yet this person that I'm staying friends with is who that I felt was not giving me that peace of mind. So I think it boils down to fear. You don't know what to do after this person. You don't want to try to Jui. Yes. And and sometimes, you yes. know, some sorry, mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes, uh, as Shata is talking, then you think about the selfishness that comes with it sometimes, yeah. that you don't want to commit with this person because most of the pressure <coughs> in relationships is based on the commitment, yes. that exclusivity. So you want to get out, but you still want the benefits of this person. You like the person. You know that there are certain favors you would get, uh, and some of them are real favors. <laughs> <laughs> Even just the being able to yes. call, like when you're going through something, Pia Yoni could push it. Yes, yeah, so oh, they, yeah? Want yeah. The, they want the ability to still sneak in, have a, a sleepover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we are just chilling, Netflix and yeah. chill. Uh, well, the, uh, the, you know, it's 10 o'clock. Yeah, they still want. They still want that, yeah. um, but then they don't want to be defined mm. as the person within that relationship. Mm. So that's the peace of mind Shata that is talking is, about. Yes, yes, yes. Like if we remove these, if we remove this definite clauses of exclusivity, then we can still have everything else. 
Um, and now you see, you get it when you see it. Mm. And when you see it, that's when you get it. So mm. there's nothing really tying. They, it's just a very selfish way of doing things as well. Mm. Yeah. Because then there's that, that aspect that uh, you also mentioned that now, in a, in a pitch, in a situation where you're actually friends with your ex and you still talk, um, okay, now I have to be careful. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it happens. I remember way back, please, bloggers, way back, way, way back, about <laughs> 20 Nakedo. Hey, uh, there's a time I was faced with an actual uh, work thing. Yeah. And I was like, the only person who has an Elewe Kitu, no ex one. So they come calling from Sasa, Kuna even I even have a new up a job. I could like options A, B, C, D. What do I do? And I got clarity. I'm like, cool, peace, peace. I didn't say peace and love because you got the love part. I wanted to keep mine. I just say peace. And that was just that. But that was like one, like once in a year, one that year. Hmm. One. And again, it's way back. Eh? I'm mm. just saying. But I have a follow up. <laughs> So that, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. A follow-up question, Sindio. So, say they gave you clarity then, Sindio, and you made the de decision. Sindio, what if the decision you made required another clarification? No, you know, let me give you context. <laughs> so, it, 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 there was a point in time when a decision such as this one, yes. the one that I was going to make, mm -hmm. was something that to look at to Mange about. Ah. So, finally, mm -hmm. So, I was like, by the way, like, to look at MFE. So, I needed, so, to find out now, Alafu, umona mo kumasema tufanya. Two, two, already merudi kwa we. Two. Now it gets complicated. It does get complicated, yeah. Yeah. especially when there's somebody else. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This when time there was nobody else. Yeah, but when there's somebody else, <laughs> <laughs> then it gets complicated yeah. because then the other person they may still be mature enough to know that that's just a professional decision that I'm helping out with, uh, but it was a one-off. If you do that three or four times, mm. they'll start that's asking that's themselves, mm. why are you, <laughs> yeah. why do you keep on that calling me? Yeah. And they'll also be asking themselves, why don't you talk to the other person mm. that you went to? Mm. And then the person you are with would also feel a very Not bad enough. like, yeah. why are you going back to ask stuff? Mm. It will create issues of insecurity. Mm. So it's a very complicated place to be at. I think, again, the element of time, like uh, maybe if you break up today, that friendship can be built over time. It can come back after quite a while mm -hmm. when the dynamics have changed. Things have become concrete. Either you were solidified in a relationship or in your singlehood. <laughs> with peace of mind. <laughs> with peace of mind. <laughs> yeah. When things are a bit more defined and they also have things a bit more defined for them, it becomes easier then to build on the friendship. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the initial stages, I think there will be a lot of manipulation. Yeah. yeah. And, on and, and, either side. On both, both sides. sides. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the other thing as well is, uh, so now you mentioned it, how, can, how, how do you deal with it? So if you're dating somebody else and you are still friends with your ex, mm -hmm. uh, the strings notwithstanding, the financials notwithstanding, do you become honest to this new person say, by the way, you better not get an ex you and, and this and this. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely communication has to exist in whichever relationship you're in. <laughs> Shut up, whether man. you're with your, <laughs> whether you're with, so that this new person has the option to decide, do I still want to be in such a situation whereby my boyfriend is talking to their ex or Nijitoe, because Nilipatayo friendship in a go on. And even for you to be able to make definite decisions or uh, am I hurting this new person? Is this other friendship really worth losing this other person? There has to be communication so that all of you know where everything is at. Like I said, with your partner, you have to be friends. Mm. And with friendship comes basic things, come uh, respect, communication. Like there has to be that basic friendship and love. And if there is, then there's no need to hide V2 Ndogo kama hizo ati you talk to your ex. That's something so, cause if for real, <laughs> nase mandogo kwa sababu, <laughs> nase mandogo kwa sababu, uh, if you and your ex are really friends and it's yeah. just a friendship, like oh. there's nothing else going on, what do you have to hide? Unless you have something to hide. I feel like if you, if you have something to hide, that answers your question. It does. already answers, it tells you maybe you're not ready for this new person 
maybe you're still into your ex and you kind of subconsciously at the back of your mind have hope that one day mtatokai funk mkona ita go into a better space there's so many endless possibilities so if you cannot be honest isha kujibu usha jijibu hapo and if there's it's there's nothing to it cuz me i would be able like if i started dating right now i have exes i talk to na sengine naweza piga story you find out oh huyo ni ex wako you know i'd i'd have nothing to hide yes i dated him in 2010 you know story lisha we say hi sometimes mm-hmm. but if i have Probably something to hide if i have something to hide or i'm still seeing this guy behind my boyfriend's back definitely see you ntanya mazia tu ndakata piga story the question of the day is uh, this is what we are basically just asking do you think it's uh, possible for you to be friends with your ex do you think it's possible for you to be friends with your ex uh, do you think so you use the hashtag daybreak your semester on 2242 i put it on my twitter as well but there it is you can use that <laughs> hashtag daybreak to, do you think it's possible to be friends with your ex the hashtag is uh, daybreak and that's my line is 242 just two comments kuna mtu hapa benjamin ndungi at benjamin ndungi anasema z akwenda kabisa jemo jemosi wa elgeo mara kwet nefa and then philip murima or philip kamande says it is possible if you are mature enough to let go and be friends because if some is to react then it's not work oh, or if she was not working then she finds someone else who is keeping her well you will get jealous and somebody says aki alan mur anas ko msio ka amesema aki willis it's impossible and the way she's toxic towards me wala sana alan ka hope everything goes on shut yes you have something to say kama hakuna watu wii yes in the picture sawa sawa hakuna ubest hakuna reason yote huyu current mwenye sasa yuko in the picture sasa hii hakuna vinya atakuwa comfortable na wewe ukiwa best na ex wako because kuna element of comparison that will always arise una get mm-hmm. this person is a constant reminder of your past mm-hmm. this person being in your life so the moment something is happening ama you have an issue with your current uh, partner and you you will look at them and wonder but will is used to to address this issue like this when you had such an issue mm-hmm. why are you being all all worked up una get so kutakuwa na hiyo element of surprise true story but work related nishawai nikiwa msanii theater tukiwa ma director used to, kuna tuko tafanya play then in translate to different languages so watu wakafanya after wamemaliza a fellow director can stage can be the next group the bars already been set so mkiingia hapa you know what to do unaona nikaamka and i made an executive decision told them look i'm to act leo and then yom kwanza because the pressure that wamekiwa already and then mu deliver kama hao watu you see that pressure so they don't need to be on stage thinking that we need to deliver like this group that was here mm. so when i'm in a relationship with you i will feel like i'm performing now because i have to do this guy and this guy is a constant reminder to me that any time i slip up he's ready to step in he is slide right in <laughs> like yo na mimi niko tu hapo so mimi ni kana ishiki tu on the edges like eh hey, hapa i can't sleep up i have to, to yani i have to have my things in order other way sabaka taumana so i'm being policed every day and who them ukikosa na yeye atapelekea nani hizo issues who the ex and mazee uchelea na nifanyie abcd unaelewa sasa wewe hiyo relationship ina gani unajitafutia if there are no children we cut your communication but it's okay opportunity you can unajua kama hiyo ya kuuliza advice once it's okay mm. but asikuwa ni rafiki mna shinda gab mmepigia na simu mna mna hang out unaelewa hiyo yeah. hiyo isikuwe and if you can you try very much in your conversations not to to bring your your, your past with your current mkiongea if you feel this conversation will lead to you mentioning your ex just end that conversation acha na yote it's not sio lazima sio lazima uiongee unaelewa eh that way utako you see the worst thing about a lie is you have to keep lying mm. you have to keep defending that lie and you have to go deep in lying and lying and hiding and hiding una get hakuna mwanaume yako genuine na mdem anataka maybe a long term relationship anataka udem akuwe anamuonesha ga her past daily it's not possible juzi last time hapa nilikwambia ukitaka kula kuku huwezi tembea nyuma yake the whole day asubuhi wana inakula nini utakula nyama yake well can i then ask just as a follow up to what <laughs> that analogy is quite something 
to what yeah. Shata said. Uh, but then, okay, do you think then uh, all of us, women and men, all of us, then we need to work more on um, how we handle jealousy, how we handle insecurity? Because then this could easily boil over into your friendships. Say I have a, a male best friend and I do all these things with him that I'm not doing with my ex. Like we hang out, we talk, I make you on issues, I go to him and he's just my platonic friend and I have a boyfriend. Date your best friend. What happens? <laughs> Date your best friend. Because you know, in, in, in the instance whereby, if, sorry? It is very key. If you date your best friend, sometimes people in love Love fades yeah. in that relationship, and that friendship keeps the the relationship going. Then the love grows back. If yeah. it's not toxic, sometimes you'd feel like I don't feel that love I used to feel. But there's this friendship that we have that keeps you together. Yeah. You say your love in anza kurudi, in anza kumbusha. You be the same as your love. The truth is sometimes the the best friend that you have may not necessarily have the qualities you want in a partner. Your your best friendship may be based on certain things like their brains. See, like what Roberta is talking about. It may be somebody you really pick their brains, um, but it's not somebody that you'll proudly. Or you're even sexually attracted. <laughs> yeah. You don't need my phone, man. You don't need my phone. You know, you can't have your cake and eat it. And eat it. Uh, you'll uh, be uh, together, uh, and you'll be fine in everything else. <laughs> but when it comes to certain matters now of intimacy, it might still be a challenge. You know. Well, so you have to be. You, they start talking about me as a kuana, a female best friend. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is my best friend. It's a lady, and I'm dating another one. Of course, that's, that's uh, very and she will be okay. okay. That's, uh, I, I think I couldn't def I couldn't define like I couldn't I couldn't situation mm -hmm. like because these things happen. I couldn't mm -hmm. model at it, even though we lewa to fanya to fuate in gia in your well, correct okay, you know, formula. There's someone out there who's married and has a female friend who's just a friend and he what? makes his wife feel very, very secure. The wife has no issues with that. He's where with this girl because she's secure in herself and he has made the relationship very, very secure. <laughs> there's situations like that. There's situations that are tanini fanike. He's just cheating. <laughs> His friend on the phone with the with the house help with the watch Everyone. watchman with everybody. Like, you know, you know, there's very very complex and different situations for everybody. Yeah. So then again, I think it just boils down to individualism and you as a person, how you are and how your relationship is. Because if it can't work for you, it can't. Usi jaribu kujifanya uneza date de makona best friend Charlie. Kama highwayzi highwayzi. Na kama <laughs> I, I think it works. Do you know emotional cheating? Yeah, way worse than it, it is worse than physical cheating. Yeah. When I get, and if I have a lady friend that I'm considering my best friend, it means this is a person that connects with me emotionally. When I get, that is the only way I'd consider you my best friend if you can connect with me emotionally and you are a lady. When I get, so if I'm having issues that are weighing me down, and I find it comfortable to discuss those issues with you that my partner, I have a very big problem in my relationship. Whether I choose to, to, to voice it or not, there is a big problem in that relationship. When I get okay, because well, sometimes, well, sometimes people go back to their exes because they actually are seeking sympathy to go back. So they have a situation in a relationship or a marriage now, and then they find the fallback is their ex. They are sending subtle messages that I am not happy in this relationship mm -hmm. so they know that if they begin to get the sympathy of the other person the other person will you know open up their hearts to a possibility and there's going to be an emotional connection it's very easy then to trigger mm -hmm. the chemistry that they used to be sometimes so sometimes even the seeking of help from the exes is usually just somebody trying to see is the door open mm. or not? That's checking back. Yeah. <laughs> After one year, <laughs> yeah. 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 To know the meat. There's a link up. To know a link up. Drinks. 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 And they're like, you know, he's not even happy. She's not even happy in that I'm the one who understands him, <laughs> who understands <laughs> her. Yes, yes. You know, then they begin to interfere. Mm -hmm. And it's a tricky place for them as well. Um, 
because see, you broke up the first time. If those fundamentals were not sorted, <laughs> yeah. uh, even if this person leaves the other person and comes back to you, you'll be the person they'll be complaining about now next. to the, to next, the, the yeah. next ex. So it's just yeah. a, a circle of yeah. exes <laughs> over and above. All right, we'd like to uh, get some of your uh, your comments and some of them in a short while. Uh, but you know, hey, Makwa, it's been a while since I got. <laughs> This much feedback from a tweet. How you do like I'm a finya? Well, kuna mimi na wanasema kama tu lochana kwa ubaya no need to be friends. Uh, then Pungu, Pupungu, Eric, Eric, Pupungu says yes, friends with benefits. <laughs> 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 then Roma, Roma, who is a, a lady, she says it's possible to say, despite having a lover, I respect my ex so much. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so. Nope, this somebody also says, nope, there is still something connecting the both of you, the, and sooner or later you'll be messing up with, with her. Uh, your ex will make your current wife your ex. <laughs> so clearly people, I think there's also an element of, um, even from just the analogies that I'm hearing you use and people using, there's an element of, uh, you know, you don't want to really put yourself into that sort of temptation. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is somebody, especially if you are romantically involved, I like what CJ said, that you have to kind of w wait it out a bit, wait it like, Maybe, I don't know, there's no sufficient time, even though they say time heals. It could be two years, it could be 10, mm. it could be whatever. Uh, but, yeah, actually, we week it to break up. Then next week on Friday, it drinks na young. It akwa normal sana. But then that, you have to go. It's very painful. It's very painful at that point. You've broken up, then you've gone into this party, and then the other person, just begins to get on with somebody else mm. and they remind you remember we're not a night <laughs> no, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so you are there you're feeling like we've not even healed mm. we were still trying to talk about this thing uh, oh, no, you're sharp <laughs> you've gone and they're like remember we're not an item we're going with you but remember we're not an item and then they just jump on to the next person it's so crazy i think we've got to be realistic that we're emotional beings as well yes and it is not weakness to admit that you feel the emotions. Mm. You're disappointed, you're hurt, even the jealousy, you're about to, it is part of the emotions Definitely. that we feel. Mm. And when you are a bit more aware of your emotions and you accept them, you easily can manage them. Mm. Then trying to pretend that I'm not hurt. Don't feel. <laughs> you know, well, it doesn't matter mm. in any case. Mm. Well, she's gone, I'm gone, I'm living my own life. Mm. Uh, that's how people end up hurting themselves and then hurting other people. Mm in their lives because mm -hmm. you go into the next thing and you've got all this uh you've got all this passive aggressiveness passive aggression yeah. um you have this night remarks you've got these subliminals that you keep on using because you never healed from something else so you're always just course, hurting course. people you <laughs> and you actually think that they will do to you what the other person did. Mm -hmm. So you're always on the offensive. It's important for us, Willis, to just come into tune mm -hmm. with our emotions mm -hmm. at the base of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We have some uh, tweets that are, are coming in here. Let's kind of, let's look at that even as we look inward. Look at that picture, first of all. <laughs> yeah, you only broken hearts being mended. Like, in your know, you're Ni ngumu sana. Niweke kwa 24. No, nione clearly. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. So, uh, Marshall Mata says uh, element of comparison will always arise at one point uh, or another and therefore my answer is no. Huyu afanya ngi vile wewe alikuwa anafanya. Inazoka kufika. Omolo Rogers, anasema it depends with the reasons of you breaking up. If it was for serious issues like infidelity, I will never talk to you. Omolo amesema bwana kama ulienda kwa kanyaga nje, uko nje peke ya. Baraza Kefa says it's never okay to be friends with your ex. Definitely kuna mahali mtakumbuka mazuri yenye pamoja. And it will be threatening your current relationship. Ex ni ex. Mm -hmm. 
F fellow 10 Haiwezi Buddha ex atakuhinda from achieving the perfect relationship imagine waking up and finding your ex texting you good morning before your girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> XZ, <laughs> 6 o'clock on a good morning, like in Wako and Kupiga at 11 at Oni Ajin in Sahau. Amboka Anusko DL says, Yes, it is possible to be friends with your ex, but on Facebook, maybe. I send my Facebook too. I'm not talking only fans. <laughs> uh, but it's interesting. Sorry about And also, that. Is it, isn't it interesting that most of those guys who are, are men, but then yeah. go ahead? Yeah, but then again, uh, we should never rule out the fact that it is possible for you to get back together mm. with an ex. Mm -hmm. There are people who have been, it's very quiet on the other side, but. I think when you yeah. said that, when you said that everybody, <laughs> including Shata, I think you my ex. It is possible. There are people who break up and they try other relationships. Mm -hmm. Doesn't work. Probably five years down the line. To get back to even after mm. five years, yes, when in the election, reason, the reason sometimes wow. are not as it's not like infidelity, sometimes it's just maybe work like you guys were too too busy and now you have the time. It's it's different, like, like I said, I was equal to formula, hakuna formula. <laughs> this up. is what you <laughs> shut up. Well, right. I, it's possible, it's possible. Wins. You know, there's yeah. also the element of maturity. Yeah, I, I can just oh. be very honest with myself and say, Look, I messed that up because I wasn't mature enough. Mm. I was in certain, or I wasn't uh, ready. Yeah, I was in a certain space, either emotionally or mentally, and blew that up. I know better. It is possible, yeah. you know. Uh, mm. It is sometimes, sometimes we struggle with trying to fit into new relationships because we are not humble enough to accept that we could have been wrong mm. at some point. Yeah. 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 But, eh? Kama tulikuwa kwa relationship, tukawachana, say because of atikazi ilikuwa mingi, tuka drift apart, sindio? Mm. Tukirudiana yu kazi ikuja tena? Udani aja tena? No, but maybe so at that point you'd be a more mature. Oh, oh, so yeah. you've gone out there to pick a character development. Or, uh, or, uh, <laughs> pick a character development. And so mwana now let me come back to Shata. Panel beating yiko sawa. Kuda kabisa. Kweze kani. Ay, yo, lisikia wapi. Hey, what are you going to do? Uh -huh. Kitu, what are you going to do? In a relationship, not every fight is a breakup. Mm. You know, sometimes you can't get a mazi, and you can't get a mazi, and you can't get a mazi. You can't get a You get a mazi, and you can't get a mazi. You can't get a mazi. But it does not mean we've broken up because that we can't define your breakup. You can't get it. It happens in relationships, but people go silent like one month. Then from nowhere, in a rudi mnaza kuongea. It happens. That's more toxic, I think. the the best part yeah. make it clear. Tumiachana. People that do that are afraid of breakups. I saw something. They, 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 they leave it open. They leave it open. ghost, then one day, I just wanted time. That's what that guy was. Uh, I saw there's a new Kenyan urban dictionary going around on, on Instagram, mm -hmm. and this one said that I need space. It basically, what they mean is that watch any ni mo na kona prospect mingi ne. Watch any jaribu. If it doesn't work, then I come back, which is yeah. toxic, like very much. She said. Yeah. Kau na step kanyaga kuboku. Na na yo 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 kitu beso ma pa feedback mingi ni awana ume. In relationships, mostly, material gain is to the other side. Una get come out of your emotional support. You come out. It is men that give that. Not yet, that security is mostly is is uh, offered by men. Mm -hmm. So when we break up, it is for the girl's interest to remain friends with me because she knows the things. And as a kwana pata kama yo maybe a kona issue and it kwandresi yo a wo kona balbi and duk fixi yo kwake vitu kama hizo anajua abadan anezembi la kupata hizo favors. So she will keep you on a leash. 
this is the extent I will allow this man. Mm. When I get, and you as a man, you know, you keep telling yourself, this is a low hanging fruit. One day maybe I'll get lucky. When I get and mm. go back to the good books with her. So we want to make a two kijambia, kuna hopes, kuna hopes. So mostly when we enjoy gopa, because maybe you don't get to me pity. That's so why they can't be friends. Just say, can you watch that? You are good. Eh, to kutane uko bede. More fire. All right. I think the examples Shata is giving is um, off of maybe toxic situations, which I would not advise anyone to go back to if there was any sort of toxicity in your relationship. Just be done. But there's people who handle things very, very maturely. Like, there's people who are very, very secure in themselves. They're very, very emotionally intelligent. They're ready to talk about things. They're ready to admit, I'm jealous, I'm hurt, I'm in pain. ETC, ETC, they're ready to talk about it. And when you get to this point, you find it's not difficult to keep friends. It's not difficult to define your boundaries. Because even if you, as a person, you have an ex who's a friend, why would you want to mess up the relationship you have currently? Mm. You ha <coughs> it takes a lot of maturity and emotional intelligence and just you gatekeeping for yourself to know this is a good thing I don't want to mess up. For my ex, if they're a friend, they're a friend. But it's just that. So I guess you have to have crazy... Um, seriousness and just honesty. And if you can't do it, see must. Mm. See must to kwebish the ex wako. Chorea to your story. Kauna weather, it's very possible. Very yeah. possible. Na kama kwa na partner, lazima kwa okay na ya. It's not up to you to decide. Mm. If your partner is not hey, okay with being friends with your ex, no, you need to respect decision. that. Definitely. You know, no. mm. yeah. So yeah. once you come to the house, you have insecurities maintained. Uh, the best no. thing. <laughs> uh, uh. No. <laughs> you need to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> to maintain. Control. Control. <laughs> Control. Control situation. Control situation. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, when it ended there, because we have, unless you have more feedback, uh, can I... Okay, all right, so let me read. The, the, there is some interesting, <laughs> and some would even put a picture of keeping up with the Nani's Cobra Squad. I have Betty Saint, Alisema Ivy. <laughs> so, why should I be friends with my ex, Tukisema? <laughs> and then, <laughs> Sam Gituku, Akasema, at the ex, actually. Exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Buzz Jones says, absolutely, because you ought to share more outside romance. Now, I don't know where this school of thought came from, but it's okay. Then Ndugu, that's John Swipe Ndugu. He and I have ways. Hey, Abu Piga got a CJ, my bishop apple. <laughs> <laughs> that is John Swiper. Uh, Nata Pierto says, how now? Shata is making a lot of sense. Big up yourself. Benito Piera says, yes, man, but it's very tough. And then finally, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Haji Ilchagi now is breaking it down. He says, there is a lot of jargon in this statement, in my view. Several variables in place to consider. First of all, what is a friend? Everyone <laughs> 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 define everything. Yeah, so then someone says, sometimes I'm on a ex-wangu, na juliza tulipata na wapi na sasa. Anyway, that's uh, as far as that, that is. I'd like to say thank you so much uh, to CJ, to Roberta, to Shatter Boy. Uh, it, it's, it's been absolutely amazing. Very interesting thoughts. You can follow at CJ Atemo, uh, on at CJ Atemo, at Roberta Bobby, or at www.loveandorganisms.com, at Shatter Boy, at Shatter underscore Tiki Taka on Twitter, and Shatter underscore Boy on Instagram, and Wax Tiki Taka, 10 a.m to 1 p.m. on Radio Citizen, like you're on an NQT. Uh, like we always say, and like Isabel Roberta also said it here, at the end of the day, we will be able to formula my shako. If you want to come back to friends and ex wako, you are the wear of the shoe, you are aware of the shoe, you know it pinches. If not, and another variable, if you have a new partner, make sure your new partner knows that you are going to be an ex wako. Like in the camera, she Nairobi, peace of mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do not use it as an excuse yeah. Yeah, to get, yeah, to be friendly because they always say, Wezi fungia simba nyam. Acheze, acheze nayo. Even shware. Atekura. In the words of Rashid Abdallah, si semi kitu. Remember, successful people look like you.
and the great Manchester United be safe. Remember to take your mental health seriously. Talk to somebody. And if you have any concerns and problems, reach out to people. Help is available. Don't take your own life. There is much more to live for. Peace and love.